above all the name, my God. Your name is Jesus. Divine Majesty. Your name is Lord. Your name is Jesus. Lift up your voice. Your name. Hey, your name is for shelter thank you for clothing thank you for going out and coming in 
thank you for sleeping and waking thank you for the water thank you Lord where can we start and where can we end you have been there for your people you have been there for me you have been there for this commission you have been there for this nation we bless you Lord we lift up your name on high King of glory we thank you Abba Father we thank you Lord we thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Lord to be Holy Spirit we thank you have your way have your way take over take over Lift up your hands and worship him. Divine majesty. know the person that I have a witness in my spirit someone God did something good better you didn't really testify you didn't testify I don't want to tell you what will come next if you refuse who is that person Come and tell God what he has done. Oh, Come and tell us what God has done. Almighty Jesus. I come all the way from Isolo in Ago. I worship in Redeem Christian Church of God. My father's house, Cornerstone. In, in the solo uh, here. On the 18th of July, really when I come all the way from my degree, I don't have where to stay. I was staying with one of my brother. It's not blood brother really, it's not uh, it's just a relative. So one of these days the wife just you know get angry. I'm not sleeping in the one room apartment. If you see where I manage myself, where the mechanic is working, I use bench to sleep there. So I told my uh, pastor missus that brought me here. See mama, see what is happening to me. This is that. She said I should not worry that the Lord will open way for me. I want to thank Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. On the 18th of July, a minister come to our church to minister to us because we have a program every Wednesday that we call all run fruitfulness. So, Mama told this man about my problem. This man gave me 
500,000. <laughs> to the glory of God, he said I should go and look for a very nice place to live with my family. The bed that I, I mean, the foam that I went to buy is just something like this. So after I paid for the house, I bought some other things. Really, I'm an artist, a gospel artist. So I want to render a song that I, I want to give the version the the Igbo, the Igbo version is there, but I want to render it in my own dialect. It goes like this. No let me market it, nor the abbey me o gao. Banana, 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 Jesus. is good God. Jesus is good God. Our Father is good God. So, as if that one is not enough, as I ran off with that house problem on Thursday again, we have another program this week that's, that we just I just ended. Ended. So, a woman in our church again came with complete agbada, four fine shirts, and two hundred. I mean, two thousand naira for me again. I say, Baba, thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Give Jesus a clap and offer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, where you were squatting before, should I use the word squatting? Do you think they did bad to you? Tell us the truth. Where you were squatting? Not at all. Tell us why you think they didn't do bad. Uh, if they didn't chase me out where I'm sleeping in a bus in the bus stop, uh, maybe the I will still continue sleeping in that. Give Jesus a clap. Of place. The Bible said, How many things? All things work together for good. Praise God. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I don't know if anyone here recognizes my face and all that. I gave a testimony here. My first time of coming here, I gave a testimony that... Uh, Come at the I... center. You are looking nice. Just don't be ashamed. Praise God. Um, I actually um, 
first time of coming to this place, it was actually someone that directed me to this place for prayers. Then I came. A connection came for me to, you know, travel abroad. I came out here and testified. And they, the second time that I came to this place, I testified already my flight has been booked. So I traveled. Yes, praise God. I was there in Canada. Praise God. So when I was there, um, I can even remember the prophecies that came. In fact, they have to say, right, the, they wrote the, what's it called, the account um, of the church for me to pay my tithe from there. When I got to Canada, so everything was just perfect according to the glory of God. Give Jesus a clap and offer. Praise the Lord. And not only from there, from the same Canada I entered to Shishelos, from there they as well dragging me for a job. And when I was there, I kind of, this kind of job, mm -mm, I have to go back to Nigeria. Praise God. I called my people, they are like, see, people that are in Nigeria, they want to travel, and you that are there. I said, I'm coming back. Praise God. From there, I entered Addis Ababa. Praise God. In fact, how God just perfects everything. Alleluia. Give Jesus a clap of <laughs> Praise the Lord. Honor, hello, hello. When you travel, you will start speaking in slangs. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God just, I'm the type, I think, that thing, in fact, God was really faithful or true. Um, at least I can be able to say that the three different countries that I entered, um, I happen to be, you know, um, the blacks among them and all that. And they kind of, you know, when I came to those places, I have to rush down. I came back last two weeks and Saturday last I was here. As opposed to come out here to come and testify. <laughs> just stand in the midst of the crowd and all that, start testifying and all that. So the, I just the, the yoke has been broken. <laughs> <laughs> Give so, Jesus a clap of offering. Praise the Lord. So those nights, you know, I'm the type any place you just find, as long as it's the presence of God, just maintain your heart wherever you are. I just disguise myself and stay there. And when the man of God, our daddy, the presence was going on, and it, and I started, you know, remembering what God has done for me. They're even telling me, come back, come back. I said, but I, you know, what you guys trying to offer me and all that? Because here yeah, I'm a travel consultant and all that. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was like, this money of a thing. I know how much I can be able to get it in a week. Praise God. But I just want to appreciate God. It is from this altar of divine majesty. Praise the Lord. That this prayer, in fact, my first time of coming here, within three days that I left from those places, the call came in. And within this period, I started coming to those places, at least not up to, what was it called, three months ago now. And within these three months ago now, I have turned around. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is just God and God alone. <laughs> May the name of the Lord God Almighty, who lives, the God of divine majesty, may his name be praised forevermore. Give Jesus a clap of offering. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I'm here to testify to the glory of God anyway, but I, I, there is a testimony I've been preparing to give uh, before this one I'm giving now, I'm about to give. That first one, I've been out of this place for some time. God is now bringing them out small, small. I've been out of this place for some time now, for about three months. I haven't been steady here. Uh, I've been moving around from one place to the other, not do, busy doing nothing. God put something in my hand, and I was, I've been trying to put them the way they're supposed to be, as was contracted to me. And these um, jobs really... From Mabo to Mbise or Lo, or if I was moving, the journey message alone is what I cannot count because a lot of things used to happen on the roads. But God protected me. Give Jesus a clap of free. Also, it's a traveler. This one, a Nigerian traveler. The other one, a Canada. So, the job God put in my hands. Anyway, I thank God because all of them came to recommendations. People I worked together with in some other sites, they recommended the owners of the job, mm. recommended, recommended me to the owners of the jobs. So, and uh, I got 
grace. I've been doing it, trying to defend my name and the profession I'm into. But why I'm here is this. I supposed to be here two weeks ago. I've come back to Lagos two weeks ago, but something happened that kept me behind. And uh, just sharp, sharp. And uh, people are kept, uh, uh, our community, they had the August meeting last week. And I told my brother to, that uh, they, when the wife sh is coming back, the children should come since I'm around so that I can see them. So they came back. But one night before they came, I was sleeping. I saw two snakes uh, in, my, in our kitchen. In the revelation, God showed me two snakes. They were together. And uh, in that revelation, I said, uh, these two snakes, I have to kill them because if I allow them, they will bite these children. They will attack these children that came back. So I went inside and picked, just some, and, tell, and picked something to kill those snakes. Tell us what God has done. So in short, um, Later, I woke up in the morning, so God put something in my spirit. I went to um, remove them. There is a boiler I plugged in the, in the socket. I went out, and I was doing something. I noticed that there is a, a socket that is shocking. So the thing passed according to the satellite. Then I tried to repair them. I said, later, I will do it. I forgot it. But one of these kids, when they are the youngest one among them, when they are, was outside, they were with, with, with their moms. I had that scream. I came back. I asked them what is happening. Why should this kid scream like this? They said she thought something there and uh, they don't know what happened. I shouted. Really, if not God, that particular courage would have killed that person. Give day. Jesus a clap on our friend. <laughs> clap your hands. The law will continue. And we can see your body look like somebody from Britain. Give Jesus a clap on our friend. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Name, sir, Second Lieutenant. Sir, you can come at the... My name is Second Lieutenant William Sierra, United States Navy, retired. I'm not here to give testimony. I'm just here on behalf of Divine Majesty. We want to bless you with 50,000 Naira on Monday. Come and pick it up. I don't know here. My friend, we did not hear very well. I didn't hear very well. The only area I heard, pick it up. Jesus, a clap and offering. Can we dance? The Lord will bless someone today. The Lord will bless someone today. The Lord will bless someone today. Let go. The Lord will bless someone today. So 
open up for you. Oh no, hello, hello. When God says something, He confirms it. Are you there? I just hear, come and pick it up, man. Bye. I had pick up, pick it up. I said, how much? I didn't hear how much. Wow. My brother, where this brother? He said, by Monday. You should, is it here? Yeah. Come and pick it up 50,000 men. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, by Monday, 50,000 naira is waiting for you. It's an American army. It's an American army. Not Nigerian army. Somebody somewhere just moved to me and said, I am adding 10,000. Hola, hello, hello. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Just testimony, things happen. Just testimony, things happen. Praise the Lord. Uh, exactly this time last month. Pastor called out people that will support for Moet transportation. Mm -hmm. uh, and after two days, I redeemed my, my own vow. I was in a dream. I told myself on steering. Somebody did what? I told myself driving okay. in the dream. Mm -hmm. And throughout this very month, this month was the best month I had this year in business. <laughs> Give Jesus a clap room. Brother, brother, come, 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 come. Are you from east or west or midwest? East. A wise man. See how he cornered the. How he cornered the. You know what? You know what? Go deep. He just bet. He said, uh, this year, the month of August, I mean, is the best month he had ever had. Give Jesus a clap of you. <laughs> when God do something, Oh my God. Many people doesn't know how to multiply God's blessing. If God bless you, remember I said I will bless them. They will be fruitful. Multiply. Praise God. If you want God to be multiplying the blessing, bless you with. Learn to appreciate. I know that some people... Immediately they give testimony. We see some people around them, brother. God said, I should tell you. They begin to prophesy. Some people begin to see vision. Some people begin to go corner. God laid in my heart to meet you. But if you are afraid because of such people, you may close your door. Praise God. Don't be afraid. If they come and say, God said, tell them when God said, I would do. But if God have not said, keep it where he did. Praise God. I might talk to somebody. Because so many people, through begging, push people away from their better. But wise people, they are not moved. If you say, God said, I should meet you. I will tell you, God have not told me. Praise God. When God said, I will, I will look for you. He will tell me your name. I will know your number. Don't give me your number until God said. 
To those who have ear, let them hear. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, sometime, uh, was it last month, mm. I checked for the results of the professional accounting exams I wrote, and uh, I cleared everything. That's the one. Secondly, I, I went for midweek service. I think that was that same last month. When I came back, I saw some missed calls on my phone. I was like, why are these people calling me by this time of the night? What happened? I said, okay, let me call one of them. I called uh, one of my colleagues. I said, what happened? Has the president signed the PIG bill? What's the problem? Why were you calling me? Say, madam, your name is on, is on the first page of the promotion list. Give Jesus. I started screaming. In fact, my husband came out, my children, everyone we were all screaming. Hey, mommy has been promoted on this level. In short, I don't want to say more. Don't. Praise the Lord. Which level? Which level? Come, 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 come. Don't speak in tongue. My principal said the highest level. It's not yet the highest level. But, uh, yeah, it's something high. And Thank something God. high. Give Jesus a clap now. <laughs> Anna, Lolo. Somebody, God is about to take you to the highest level. Some people take it casually. But I have said something. I have said something. I have said something. And God has no option than to confirm it. But the Bible said in Isaiah 44, verse 26, it said, He confirmed it. Confirmed the word of His servant and performed the counsel. Of his messengers. For what purpose? That said to Jerusalem. That said to people. That shall be inhabited. And to the cities of Judah. You shall be built. I will raise up the decayed places. For saying. Bringing joy. Laughter. Healing. To the people of Jerusalem, God said, for doing that, I will confirm, I will perform. Praise God. So when you know your position in God, every utterance is ordained. To those that have ears, let them hear. Oh, yeah, tell Deliverance program, that was June. Though I, I didn't want to come outside because I was scared and... Not really scared, but I don't know if I'm shy. So I just want to bless the name of the Lord because he has done so many things in my life. I finished my ND, that was last year, and I've been looking for a job. I've been seeking for a job. So I've gone for so many jobs, and they've called me, but I don't know, something just happened, and I won't be able to go. And I was like, why am I losing so many opportunities? There are so many things that have been down. So I dictated my time that, okay, every day, God, I will always give you praise. So every time, even when I'm in the kitchen, I'm always praising him. Every time, I'm always praising him. So after the program, after we left, they called me at UBA Bank. I don't know how the job, I missed it again. They didn't call me. Okay, I was like almost giving up, like, God, why is everything just turning like this? I see, are you know there, you know here. But of recently, I didn't know that... Those things I was losing, God was actually preparing me for a, a greater one. one. I, I was just, I went for an interview, that was last week. Even people that had more certificate than me, master degree, BSc degree, I don't know me, I'm just like an ordinary ND holder. The CEO called me and told me that, uh, Adil Tichimoke, you've been employed into our organization. The second day, they will give me a car. Can you drive? I said I can't drive. They have to give me a driver. I just want to bless the name of the Lord because they will do Are you sitting down? Wait, before we start dancing, 
which which uh, company no? uh, because Omi, she didn't mention the company Ominicon, they deal with telecommunication service and they have other branches like auto food they produce food and um, um, fast moving consumable food and so so okay. i'm a representative i go to represent them with their to their clients whenever they need any offer from them okay Ominicon. Ominicon. Okay, give us music. On your name, Mahana, make a leg. Majesty himself. On Monday, I and my family we came for prayers, and uh, on Wednesday when we closed for prayers, I I told them to go home. That I was ministered in my spirit to go to my business place. Although when I saw the seers, they told me that when I get to my office or my business place, that I should pray and plead the blood. But before then, I have been asking for a particular CD. The first Wednesday of this month, the CD, God did something for me on that very day. So I was opportune to get that very CD that Wednesday. So when I got to my business place, I entered into one of the car. I used the CD to pray. After praying, the anointing oil that I got from this place, and when before when we closed, I gave uh, Pastor Henry the anointing oil that I need oil from the altar. So I opened it. He mixed it with the oil from the altar. So after my prayers, I in fact Holy Ghost moved. I anoint my cars. And people were like, Pastor, come and touch my own. Come and so I was anointing the cars that was within that uh, environment. And to the glory of God, on ways on Thursday, I didn't go out. I decided to rest. So when I came yesterday, most of the cars I anointed that very day has been sold. Give Jesus a clap of praise. Praise the Lord. And even today, some people were like hiring me that. <laughs> they said, I beg, I just say you bring one holy water. <laughs> that uh, if, if you come next time, even if I'm not around, please anoint my own. <laughs> praise the Lord. But I told them, it's the Lord's doing. Come close to God. The altar of divine majesty and he will do wonders and i know that the remaining ones are yet to go virtually is your own car among the ones they sold one of my own is on the pipeline okay uh, because go. of uh, saturday today is the saturday god will sell it for you amen so and even some that have not gone there have been serious buyers on those vehicles maybe by monday and 
after Salah, some have deposited on some of the cars and it will be sold. I want to return all the glory to the altar of divine majesty. And when I did that very anointing, I said, God, because I know what is happening there. In fact, a friend brought a pastor to come and pray for him there. So when the pastor came, on top of the bridge, he looked down. I know God opened, his eyes opened. He told the brother that, is it here you are doing business? The man said, yeah. He said, let her come and see me in the office. And when the uh, colleague, when the guy went to see the pastor in the office, he told him that that place you are is a danger zone. Now only lion, lion, there that place. Lion, tiger. There is no good doing business in that place. So, and divine majesty has been so awesome. If you do rubbish around us or around my car or my vehicle, they have been trying so many things. He will close down their business. <clears throat> In fact, anywhere I go now, they say, ah, now forever, I beg, I know one problem. So Give I want Jesus. to return all the glory to author of divine majesty. I say to his name, be a glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Even when I, after that anointing, I said, God, most of them believe in fetish powers. Or I said, God, not for my own doing, but because they believed and said, Come and anoint these cars. Mm. Sell it for them. Mm. And the Lord has been doing it. Give I may his name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Give Jesus a clap and offering. We can call him Omeka Naya. Mm. Like Father. Praise, Praise God. Praise. There's no free zone. But when you know the God you are serving, you are worshiping, you covenanted yourself when you know the altar that is defending you when you know the man of God God is using to defend you then the scripture will be fulfilled and what is the scripture in Luke chapter 10 19 he said behold I give unto you what power to do what trample so there's no need of wasting your time trying to clear all the whole demon in Lagos you can't clear them. Just trample on them. Am I talking to somebody? Just trample upon them. Continue trampling. May God give us understanding. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody said great grace. Somebody said great grace. Great grace. You will receive great grace in Jesus' name. Whether you say the amen or not, the Lord will give you great grace. Yeah. When pastor started to say this, I felt somehow because somebody asked me sometime, Ralph, why do you always come to testify Johnny Mercy? Is it only Johnny Mercy? I say you will not understand. What did I say? You will not understand. God gave me the grace that each time I want to travel out of Lagos on road, I always come to this altar in the morning, very early or late in the night, to, whether I'm sleeping or maybe I don't know how to pray, but I will lie down here. And I will tell God, God, this journey I'm making, you will bring me back. I want to tell you or testify that God gave me a joy Anytime I travel with the head pastor and the family, when I take them out and I brought them back, and I know so many souls, billions of souls, destinies attached to him, that if a, a man of God will go east and come back, and Rafa is always the pilot, why not the great grace be on my life? I want to stand to tell you that listen and listen well. It gives me joy. If you are jealous, let it be for you. But it gives me joy when I'm driving the head pastor. I know the road I'm going. I know the bus. I know every corner and corner of this country. I'm not joking. But I am telling you, anytime I'm traveling, I ask God for one thing. Great grace to take me and come back. God took me out on Wednesday and brought me back on Friday. I want to thank Give God Jesus for all of... this in Jesus' name. 
Onalolo. Go, go. Great grace. Can we ask God for greater, great grace? Do you understand gra- that grammar? Yes, sir. For greater, great grace. Can we stand on our feet? Say, O oh God. Oh God. I need greater, greater, great, great grace, grace upon my life, upon my life, in my family, my family, among my children, and our children, my wife, my wife, my husband, my husband, my families, my families, my brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, my mother and my father. Mother and my father. Divine Majesty Worship Ministry. Divine Majesty Worship Ministry. As a body of Christ. The body of Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name. The Bible said in Acts chapter 4. If you read verse 33. Acts 4, 33. Can we read together? I want to go. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And what happened? And great grace was upon them. May great, 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 greater, great grace rest, abide, dwell upon you all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come and drop something. I know what I'm talking about. Heaven and eight and all.
Vamos, Moreno. Look at somebody. Look at somebody smile. Help me to tell the person God loves you. Say it very well. And tell the person Jesus is coming soon. Move from your seat. Go and tell your best friend that God loves her, him, and Jesus is coming very soon. And somebody is waiting when they will say, sit down. Praise God. Jesus is coming soon. And God loves you. Praise God. When you hear God loves you. And it follows Jesus is coming soon. What does it mean? It means a lot. Praise God. You can hear numerous testimonies. Some people Jesus came. To elevate them. Praise God. Some people Jesus came. To give them home. Some people Jesus came. To employ them. And give them car. And driver. Jesus is coming soon. Why? Because God loves you. Praise God. The other time I said, when you hear Jesus is coming soon, don't uh, put your mentality only on the rapture day. The word of God is for yesterday, today, and forever. 
Am I talking to somebody? Some people, Jesus is coming soon. For what purpose? To take them home to go and rest. Some people, Jesus is coming soon. To do what? To heal them. Some people, Jesus is coming soon. To do what? To work for him and work with him. Praise God. The one thing I know, God, my father told me to tell you that I should tell you that he loves you. And his son Jesus is coming soon. So in which area are you expecting Jesus to come into your life? Open your mouth and begin to tell him, I am waiting for my master in this area, in that area. In Jesus' name. To our brother forever. Jesus came to empower him. As he speak, what happened? Things that happening. Business customers start coming. Praise God. Am I talking to somebody? To some people, Jesus came to judge and condemn them because their wickedness has what? Fool. And they wouldn't want to what? Repent. So he came to avenge for you and for me. Am I talking to somebody? That's why some people, when they start praying, they said that Iroko, in human form, that have been troubling your life, in your family, is what? Dead. So Jesus has come to judge such people. Am I talking to somebody? Jesus came to people in different way. Am I talking to somebody? He told me to tell you I am coming soon. So brighten your face is coming to give you testimony. It's coming to open your womb. It's coming to give you a good husband. It's coming to give you a good wife. Amen. It's coming to give you twins. Amen. It's coming to give you triplets. Amen. It's coming to give you quadruplets. Amen. Were you aware that a woman had 26 children at a time? You have not had it? You have not? Okay. 26, and none of them died. Children are just like, somebody is about to receive a breakthrough that have never taken place in your family before. In the name of Jesus. Because such a breakthrough of childbearing 
has never taken place in the community of such a woman. God is about to visit somebody and give you a breakthrough that none of your community has experienced. Am I talking to somebody? Lame, according to Deuteronomy 28. If you read verse 47, verse 48, look at their problem they will receive. He said, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Look at what you will, what you will serve. He said, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. In nakedness, in want of how many things? All things. And it shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Say to Fiaqua. Rejoice in the presence of God. Yes, Jesus. No matter what you are going through. This is a miracle, God.
As you are doing it, the pen leaves you. The challenges bow. The mountains bow. The river dry. Pharaoh drown. Am I talking to someone? Are you there? Some challenges that you think you are going through, if God open your eyes, it is your stepping stone to your greatness. <laughs> Let me show you a scripture to support that. In book of Acts 14, 22. Acts 14, 22. It said, confirming the souls of the world, the disciples. Another word for confirming means strengthening the souls of the disciples of the believers, of the learners, of the followers, and exalting them, encouraging them to continue, to continue, to continue in the faith, no matter the challenge, to continue in the faith. And that we must, and that we must, and that we must, no matter your cry, the must, mark the word must, no matter where you are coming from, no matter who you are, no matter you are speaking in tongue, no matter your anointing, no matter your title, no, whether you are a man or a woman, as far as you are a follower, he said, and that we must, through much, must, through much, must, through much, must, through much tribulation. <laughs> through much what? Another word for tribulation means what? 
Okay, we are going to see another word, tribulation. Enter into where? The kingdom of God. Bring on us version. Let's see what tribulation is. Twenty-two. Okay. What is another word for tribulation? We must pass through many what? Hey, hey. Another word. Bring another translation. Bring another one. Through many what? Hardships. And what? Tribulation. We must enter where? How many of us? Think well before you raise your hand. How many of us want to enter the kingdom of God? Are you sure? How do we enter it? <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus is coming to somebody now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We are going to release the blood of Jesus. We are going to release the blood of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My yes. Father, my God. My Father, my God. Forgive me, forgive me of my inability, of my inability, of my weakness, of my weakness, of my failure, of my failure, of my sins. Of my sin. Forgive me, forgive me. Wash me, wash me with the precious blood of Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus. Deliver me, deliver me from sins, from, sin. from sorrow. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray you lead me on. I stand on me. You live very last. There is no refrain that can hold me, Jesus. No, not too much. No, not too Don't be free like him. It's so kind of me. No, not too No. going to show the blood of Jesus to pave a way for us. To pave a way for the angels of the living God. For the third heaven to open for us. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, as we use your blood, as we invoke your blood, as we sprinkle your blood, as we pour your blood, let there be total healing. Let there be total deliverance. Including people that are not here, that connected to this altar including our relations 
wherever they are, as we release the blood, bring as many that are in that we are in pit, bring them out. Amen. You did it last Tuesday, last week today. You did so much great work. Do much more today. Even within the shortest time, bring your people out. And you did not only bring them out last Tuesday, those that put them in pit, you also put them there. What happened last Tuesday was amazing. It was amazing. People, we are coming as we are shouting the blood. People, we are coming out from prison. People, we are coming out from rivers. People, we are coming out from where the enemy put them. But the interesting thing is that as they are coming out, those that put them there, God put them back. Are you there? Something is about to happen again this night. Legacy get their lay. Say in the name of Jesus. My father. My heart is open. My heart is open. Because you love me. Because you love me. And Jesus come for me. And Jesus come for me. To rescue me. To rescue me. To deliver me. To deliver me. To save me. To empower me. To strengthen me. To strengthen me. For me. For me. Not to die. Not to die. But to live. To worship my master. To worship my father. To worship my father. The blood of Jesus. One, two, go. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The blood of Jesus
Majority of us did well. My brother that near that uh, a condition, or what they call it, that we are white. Prayer is going on like this. He are, are standing sleeping. Ah, may God have mercy. This whole prayer, they are standing sleeping. Then what of when prayer is not going on? My, the media opened the scripture for such a person. Not only him, anybody, whether first floor or second floor, that's sleeping. Give him or her Proverbs 2013. Give him or her Proverbs 2013. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thy eyes and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. If you must escape poverty, open your eyes. My brother, It's like you didn't come here. What is wrong? No matter the situation, you are not giving God happy while he came to give you happy. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his call with, with Oh, 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 oh. It don't do. It don't do. It don't do. I just read it for our brother. You get it in Psalm 100. What verse? Verse 4. Abby? Can we see it in verse 4? Psalm 100, verse 4. Want to go? Enter into the gate with thanksgiving. And into his court we praise. Be thankful unto him. Amen. Bless his name. And to general, give them Malachi chapter 2, verse 13. To general, one to go. And this have you done again, 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 again. What is that? Covering the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping, and with crying out, in so much that he regarded not, he regarded not, don't, don't be fast, in so much he regarded not the offering, the praises, the worship, the prayer, the whatever, the tithe, the vow, name them anymore. Or receive it with good will at your hand. Because you think that tears and weeping, complaining will solve your problem. Everyone that complain and murmur, God kill them. Look at it in Numbers 11, verse 1. Numbers 11, read it, want to go. And when the people complain, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord had it. And his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And consumed them. That way. So every of you complain. God is angry against you. Stop complaining. Just rejoice. Believe him. And he shall be well with you. Am I talking to somebody? If you can pray, you don't have a problem. <laughs> Tell somebody if you can pray. You don't have a problem. But if you have money and believe you have your health, but you lack prayer, you lack prayer zeal, anything can happen to you. Anything can happen to that money. Praise God. I know what I'm talking about. Anything can happen to that money. Anything can happen to your health. But those who can pray, no matter the situation, it's just a matter of time. Am I talking to somebody? Just a matter of time, you jump back and they will say, ah, ah, waiting they happen. Somebody before September end, People will ask you, waiting they happen. Yeah.
People will ask you, waiting they happen. In the name of Jesus. Don't get tired. I am not saying it because you believe it is well with me. Since 1990, this is the way I started. Praise God. Hallelujah. The man of God that testified. When they joined me to come, he said he was watching me. That the least prayer I prayed was how many hours? How many hours? Six hours. You pray until something happens. If you follow me to camp, you'll be tired. You will say another time, I'm not going to follow this man. Because some people, they are, um, what do they call it? They are, they are, how do they put that grammar? What they enjoy doing. A hobby. Some people, their hobby is Babi Jabu. Some people, their hobby is pool. Some people, their hobby is draft. Some people, their hobby is smoking. Some people, their hobby is basketball. Basketball. Some people, their hobby is writing. Some people, their hobby is listening or playing music. My own hobby is prayer. That's my own hobby. What did I say is my hobby? Yeah. Praise God. Have you ever had anybody who said his hobby is prayer? It's like saying to somebody, my hobby is fasting. <laughs> say, oh God. Oh God. I must get there. I must get there. Whether devil like it or not. Whether devil like it or not. I must get there. I must get there. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Therefore, Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, name of Jesus by, Christ thunder by, fire, by thunder by fire, anything that wants to stop me, I stop you now. I command you out of my way, out of my finance, out of my marriage, out of my ministry, out of my work, out of my office, out of my life, out of my children, out of my husband, out of my wife, out of my family. Open your mouth, command them out, command them out, command them out, command them out. 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 Enough is enough. That spiritual husband, command him out. That spiritual wife, command her out. In 
Jesus name. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow of blindness. Yeah. Every arrow of blindness. Spiritual blindness. Spiritual blindness. Physical blindness. Physical blindness. Arrow of deafness. Arrow of deafness. Spiritual deafness. Spiritual deafness. Physical deafness. Physical deafness. Arrow of arthritis. Arrow of arthritis. Arrow of rheumatism. Arrow of rheumatism. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. By thunder, by fire. By thunder, by fire. I command you. I command you. Out of my body. 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 Go to Abyss. Go to your sender. Blind your sender. Blind your sender. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And in my lineage. And in my lineage. I will never. I will never. Experience. Experience. Blindness. Blindness. Spiritual blindness. Spiritual blindness. Physical blindness. Physical blindness. I will never. I will never. Experience. Experience. Madness. Madness. Spiritual madness. Spiritual madness. Physical madness. Physical madness. I I will never experience stroke. I will never experience paralysis. I will never experience diabetes. I will never experience heart attack. I will never experience heart failure. I will never experience epileptic. I will never. I will never die young. Open your mouth and pray. Pray the prayers. Pray the prayers. Pray the prayers. I will never experience spiritual and physical blindness. All the days of my life and my lineage. I will never experience spiritual deafness and physical deafness. All the days of my life on earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, no atom of sickness and disease, no matter the name is being called, that we near me and my dwelling, that we near me and my children, that we near me and my wife and husband, that we near me and my brothers and sisters. In the name of Jesus, we are not meant for affliction, we are meant for life in abundance. We are meant for abundance of peace and joy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say, oh God, oh God, any cause, any cause, sacrifice, sacrifice, divination, divination, evil spoken word, evil spoken word, evil tongue, evil tongue, whatever, whatever that was made, that was made on any altar, on any altar, that is bringing, that is bringing affliction, affliction, seasonal affliction, seasonal affliction, weekly affliction, weekly affliction, monthly affliction, monthly affliction, yearly affliction, yearly affliction. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to invoke the blood, as I begin to invoke the blood, let the blood of Jesus locate yeah, it now Jesus located and, now. Destroy, and destroy, destroy them, destroy them by thunder. By fire. by fire and those that we are involved, are involved. Let, them carry let them carry that evil, that evil. They, want they want me to carry let it rest upon their head in the head. name of Jesus Christ by thunder by fire want to go the blood of Jesus Christ 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 Jesus, <laughs> 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 
In the name of Jesus, I have my father in me. I am in him. Jesus is in me. I am in him. Holy Ghost is in me. I am in him. All the hosts of heaven, the third heaven, they are with me. Therefore, greater is he, greater are they that are in me. of hell all the hosts of hell therefore therefore in the name of jesus christ by thunder by fire by thunder by fire i break out i break out i break out i break out I break out, 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 of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where the enemy kept me. Where the enemy kept me. Satan. Satan. You can see. You can see. I am no more there. I am no more there. 
Are you there? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cannot remain. I cannot remain. Where the enemy kept me. Where the enemy kept me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I am breaking out. As I am breaking out. I am breaking out with my children. I am breaking out with my with my wife. With my, wife. With, my with my husband. With my, husband. With my brothers. With my, brothers. With my, sisters. With my sisters. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. By thunder, by fire. I am breaking out. I am breaking out. saw their papers and if you're among them that they tell you pray hard pray more they tell you marine entanglement spiritual entanglement please don't miss this opportunity pray hard pray what hard, hard. listen the bible said in Zephaniah chapter 3 Zephaniah chapter 3. If you look at verse 8, verse 8, he said, Therefore, wait you upon me, say the Lord, until what happened? The day that I rise up to do what? To pray. Ah. For my determination is to, to do what? To gather the nations. That I may assemble the kingdoms. To do what? To pour upon them my indignation. Even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And that is today. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, to all those things that stand as a nation. God said it's rising up. To devour them. To pour out his indignation. His wrath. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, Remember when you rise. God arise. It says arise. Praise God. Arise. Don't be complacent. Arise. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I can't be where Satan kept me. I can't be where Satan kept me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I rebel against Satan. I rebel against Satan. I rebel against all my enemies. I rebel against all my enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ. By thunder, by fire, I am coming out. 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 I am coming out.
the blood of Jesus 40 times. One to go. The blood of Jesus. Two. The blood of Jesus. Three. The blood of Jesus. Four. The blood of Jesus. Five. The blood of Jesus. Six. The blood of Jesus. Seven. The blood of Jesus. Eight. The blood of Jesus. Nine. The blood of Jesus. Ten. The blood of Jesus. Eleven. The blood of Jesus. Twelve.
Hallelujah. He said in Psalm 50, verse 15. Psalm 50, verse 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Whatever my father, my father, my father, whatever that have been troubling these ones, because they have obeyed their instruction, I stand in Christ Jesus as a mediator to call you on their behalf. Whatever spirit, power, demon that have been troubling them, let that spirit, demon, force, power be cut off. Amen. Let it be cut off. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever that will not allow you to drink water and keep the cup in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I stand in Christ in God to decree and to declare according to the word of life that abideth forever my father you said I should put you in remembrance therefore you said I should call upon you Lord, I call in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and rescue this one. Amen. Rescue their businesses. Amen. Rescue their marriages. Amen. Rescue their destinies. Amen. Rescue their stars. Amen. Rescue their crown. Amen. Rescue their joy. Amen. Rescue their peace. Amen. Rescue their intellectuals. Amen. Rescue their spiritual life. Amen. Rescue their anointing. Amen. Rescue their grace. Amen. Rescue their mantle. Amen. Rescue! La regese que lo rosón de gedea. La ragasa calé, ma conde chudia regedea. Judia re seclo rosón de gedea. La ragasa calé, ma conde chudia regedea. Because our heaven has widely opened. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let there be a great rain. Amen. A spiritual great rain. Amen. That will carry all our enemies. Amen. And release our blessings. Amen. Release our glory. Amen. Release our power. Amen. Release our healings. Amen. Release our deliverance. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is giving somebody a positive idea. Amen. Idea that will make you. Amen. Idea that will enthrone you. Amen. Idea that will supersede that of your superior in the past. Amen. Legeseke, idea that will overtake, that will make you to overtake. Amen. Uh -huh. Holy Ghost. Lord, rise up on your, on your behalf Amen. and pray your enemy. Amen. Rise up, my father, and pray your enemy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Amen. May the Lord strengthen you. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.